Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here with Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Argentina Lithium and Energy Corp, Nico Cacos. How are you doing today, Nico? I'm, I'm doing very well, Rich. Thank you for having me on your program. Pleasure. Very excited to have you on the show. And we love lithium and we're excited to learn more about your company. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Argentina Lithium and Energy Corp? Oh, I would love to. Um, myself, Nico Cacos, I've got a business degree. You know, I've got uh, I've got a master's in international business, and I've been in the mining industry now for about 30 years, uh, since the very beginning when I worked with the Grosso Group. Grosso Group is the management company behind uh, Argentina Lithium. And Grosso Group, Joe, headed by Joe Grosso, of course, uh, basically this, you know, recognized an, an incredible opportunity in the mining industry in Argentina almost 30 years ago, uh, that the country... Uh, was under and, and developed in, in terms of mining and underexplored, uh, and, and at that time just liberalized its borders to allow foreign investment in there. So there's huge mining opportunities in, in Argentina and including in lithium. Now, how did we get lithium going? Well, why Argentina lithium? We got into Argentina lithium because we recognized uh, that the demand for lithium was going stratospheric, especially in the last few years with this big drive for clean energy and electrification around the world. And as that was happening, we looked at ourselves and considered, well, if the price of lithium obviously is going up because the demand is exceeding supply by a huge margin, uh, where do we find lithium? And one of the best places in the world to find lithium is within the Argentine lith the prolific lithium triangle. Now, the lithium triangle, for those who may not be aware, has a little bit of Bolivia, a little bit of eastern Chile, and a big chunk of northwestern Argentina. And that was our cue. With our expertise in Argentina and the lithium potential in that part of the world, it was, uh, it was a no-brainer. We were able to leverage all our contacts for the last three decades, put together a fantastic portfolio of projects. And uh, as we're uh, drilling away and announcing results now, our you know, results are coming to bear uh, fruit, basically, so to speak, for, for our efforts. Fantastic. Congratulations on all of your success thus far. And I know we're just getting you started. Now, I just want to bring everyone's attention to the symbols in Canada and the United States. So in Canada, the symbol is L-I-T, lit. And in America, it's P-N-X-L-F. So put it on your radar and put it on your watch list. Now, my next question the company recently announced a non-brokered private placement. Can you tell us how much the company is looking to raise and what would be the use of proceeds? Yes, we did announce a private non-brokered private placement of about $6 million Canadian. And the purpose of this is to be able to finance next year's exploration program for the for the entirety of the year. And I the I have to say that the response that we have received for this financing has been uh, nothing short, short of exceptional. And to be honest, uh, I expect that we're going to be, uh, it looks like we're going to be over, oversubscribed at the end of the day. So we will have the funds that we need. And this gives gives us, you know, the security that we need to execute uh, on all our exploration programs in the 2023. That's fantastic. And Nico, can you go through the positive results at Rincon West and what it means for the company and shareholders? Yes, Rincon West is a very exciting project in that, you know, we're uh, complete, right adjacent to uh, the Rincon mining project, which just earlier this year was just acquired by Rio Tinto, one of the world's largest mining companies. And they paid $825 million for, our, for, for that uh, project there. So we've got a significant position there that we've been started uh, uh, doing a drill program just uh, in May. And I'd say we've announced the first four holes, although we're drilling on our sixth hole right now, and there are more results will be forthcoming. And the first four holes, we've there was lithium values in every single hole. Wow. And in fact, the intersections and the grades that we're getting are very similar to those drill results that Rio Tinto was getting next door. So this is very exciting. I think we're on to a, a significant lithium discovery here. I love that. That's music to my ears. 
And Nico, what would you say are the top three milestones that Argentina Lithium and Energy Corp wants to hit for 2023? 2023, we have a very aggressive program. We're going to continue with our drill, drilling program here on Rincon, our, our flagship project. So that milestone number one is we announce the different results coming out uh, on these drill holes. Uh, these are milestones that the market uh, uh, will react to. Um, the second uh, milestone is uh, we expect sometime in May to announce our initial or maiden resource estimate. So we'll be right. doing a resource calculation uh, in the first uh, quarter of uh, 2023. And around late April, early May, I expect that we'll be finished that study. We'll have that for publication. And then beyond that, we'll be moving the project to, towards a, uh, doing a preliminary economic assessment so that we can uh, uh, estimate what kind of economics that this situation, uh, this project could have if it were to be pushed forward into towards production. So we've got a very exciting year for 2023, some very aggressive milestones, and it's nice to know we'll be fully funded to execute on all these. I love it. Sounds like 2023 is going to be a huge year for you guys. Can you tell us how much money the company has in the bank, if you don't mind, and what the capital structure is? Yes. Uh, right now, we we have about $3 million in the bank. And uh, seeing that we're raising another six, that could be another one or two coming in there, we'll be approaching around $10 million right now. Nice. For, you know, so we're, we're well capitalized. We're, after this financing, I, right now we have about 90 million shares out. So after the financing, we'll probably be about, um, I don't know, 110, 120 million shares out. So with that, I think we're very, uh, our market capitalization at this point is about $25 million uh, Canadian. And uh, I think as we hit these different milestones that I just discussed, I expect that evaluation to uh, to change. We love small cap companies because you mentioned that you have a baby market cap. So with everything you guys are doing, a 25 million market cap, I could see that growing exponentially if you guys achieve all of your objectives. So I think you're really positioned nicely right now and investors can really position themselves really nicely at these levels. Is there anything else you would want investors to know about Argentina Lithium and Energy Corp? Well, I mean, Argentina Lithium, you know, lithium has been described, uh, I guess Elon Musk described it as the new oil in which he says a lot of new millionaires are going to be made. So I think this is a, a company, uh, Argentina Lithium is a company, you know, with our management team having more than three decades of experience in Argentina and the opportunities that we've got here. Uh, this is an opportunity to get in on early on the lithium uh space and 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 ride it and if we have success i think you know we could see multiples of uh returns coming back and for going forward uh, that sounds like music to my ears now what is the best way for investors to get in touch with the company if they had any questions about argentina lithium and energy corp Best way is to uh, just visit our website at uh, argentinalithium.com. There you can email us, you can uh, call us, our contact information, contact myself, or you can contact Sean Perger, Investor Relations. We love to talk with uh, potential investors, any kinds of questions. Um, it, so please feel free to reach out. Fantastic. Now, I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss. In saying that, we love to identify undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed companies here first on Rich TV Live. Everybody put LIT in Canada on your radar and on your watch list. And in America, PNXLF on your radar and on your watch list. And thank you for joining us today, the CEO of Argentina Lithium and Energy Corp, Nico Kakos. Thank you for joining us today, Nico. Rich, thank you very much for having me. And, you know, when I have some uh, significant developments, I look forward to coming back and sharing those with your audience. I would love that. Thank you so much for the opportunity for us to be able to learn more about your company. And for those of you guys that are at home, if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners. We bring in the news. We bring in the analysis, CEO interviews, and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for joining us today, Nico. And we'll talk to you guys soon.